Cloudy and damp and chilly. That's a live view from Full Moon Barbecue at the Promenade in Alabaster. I-65, you can see some of the headlights here. This is mostly just moisture that's on the lens from the drizzle that's been falling around Shelby County in the last few hours. In fact, the drizzle is so light that it's hard to even pick it up on radar at this point. 45 overnight, mid 40s in the morning, mid 50s tomorrow afternoon, and hope you enjoy this because that's as warm as it will get for at least seven, maybe eight or nine days. Here's a live look at what the cold air is doing tonight. Denver had a high of 51 earlier this afternoon. They have since dropped to nine below zero. It's 11 below at Scotts Bluff, Nebraska, 21 below up at Glendive, Montana. And when we look at the wind, the wind chill in Denver, minus 24, minus 52 up at Glendive and even Lincoln, Nebraska. They're behind the front now with a wind chill down at 21 below zero. This snow is making for blizzard conditions. It's not the deepest snow that you'll ever see, but it's blowing in a 40 to 50 mile per hour wind. Visibility is reduced out on some of the interstates in Wyoming and Colorado tonight to the point where it's at a standstill. More snow, likely St. Louis to Chicago. This could be some fairly heavy snow in Illinois, creating some serious travel issues. St. Louis, Chicago, up to Madison, Milwaukee, and then that moves on toward places like Indianapolis and Ohio into uh, Columbus, Ohio and up toward Cleveland as well. By the time it gets to us, I think it's going to be a big disappointment if you're hoping for snow. One exception to that would be Northeast Alabama, Jackson County, DeKalb County. Some of the high elevations there might get enough to cover the ground and it's entirely possible that a dusting could form in a few communities here and there. I just don't think it's widespread accumulation and certainly nothing to worry about. Local travel here might be a slick spot or two above 1200 feet on lookout sand uh, up on uh, Cumberland Plateau and then on Brindley Mountain as well by Friday morning as whatever falls would still likely be there, but it looks like a very small amount. Wind chill warning on Friday. We've got three impact days coming up and it all has to do with the cold, the wind chill, what it feels like to expose skin down in the five to 15 below zero. And look at that frostbite occurs in less than 30 minutes. If you're hoping for a white Christmas, might get one on the north side of Nashville, but around here, Things are looking to be rather dry and cold, and then we finally start to warm up a little bit going into the first part of next week. You're watching WVTM 13 News.